I'm State Representative Justin Simmons, and welcome to my legislative report. Today, we are with local artist Bernie McManus here in Lower Milford Township. Bernie, how are you today? Very good, Justin. Good. Thanks for joining us. Uh, my pleasure. How did you pick this area uh, to set up your art studio and gallery? Well, when I moved from Europe, uh, we came here because I had, uh, I'm from Philadelphia originally, and we had some family up here, and one of my cousins suggested that uh, we take a look up here. And uh, we did. We liked the area, and I knew the area a bit. And uh, my wife walked into this house and said, we'll take it. Your style of art, how would you define it? Uh, as eclectic. Uh, I do a lot of different styles of art. I like to paint outside a lot. I like to paint from nature. But I also like to express myself through something more that lends itself more to abstraction. And also something that runs through a lot of my painting is color. And uh, abstraction gives me uh, sometimes more of a license to use color than, say, nature. Where did you uh, train? I don't know. I'm not really that formally trained, although when I was a uh, child, my father used to take me when I was seven and eight to the Philadelphia Art Museum uh, back in the day. Uh, they had a youth program. And um, when I was in college, I started to do it again. Uh, I went to art classes, uh, but they were art history. So I went to uh, one of our sister schools, uh, Rosemont College, which had an arts program. I went to Villanova, and it's just around the block. And I, uh, so I went to Rosemont. I'm one of the few men, up until it just went co-ed, that ever went to Rosemont. Yeah. When I got out, I uh, started out as a writer, writing copy, and um, working with one guy, and I sort of increased their billing within a couple months of what his last year was and he wasn't getting the work done so I started to do the simple things like furniture, draw houses for the ads and and then I just went to art school at night at Tyler and uh, that was the end of my uh, formal education. So when you were younger would you say that uh, your father taking you to the Philadelphia Museum of Art is what got you into becoming an artist or what exactly? I think it was the other way around. I used to do a lot of drawing so my father took his Saturday mornings off and drove us into Philly. We were living in New Jersey at the time. Okay. And he encouraged me. One of his uh, best friends, uh, uh, one of his wedding party was an artist. Uh, he later uh, ran the um, Franklin Institute down there, but mm -hmm. he started out as an artist before he had a family and had to sort of get serious about making a living. Mm -hmm. And um, the, a lot of things like that affected me. There was a local artist in Somerton, which is northeast Philadelphia, where I grew up, essentially. Uh, and I used to see him painting from a, a window, a, a street in what was old Somerton before it sort of became just another part of Philadelphia. And uh, that all impressed me, you know, and it was something that I sort of was doing and, you know, a series of steps along the way sort of led me into it. And then when I uh, left the States, um, I uh, came over to paint. You know, I had money uh, from working four jobs, and, uh, and so I went, and I originally went to Scotland and uh, set up my easel and started painting. Where and how could someone see your work? Well, uh, they could always contact me at my email address, and uh, I'm usually open to uh, a tour because uh, you may have noticed I have paintings all over the house. Mm -hmm. um, and, oh, and it shows. Uh, my last exhibit was in Bethlehem at the Amber Studio uh, on Main Street there, or Broad Street. And, um, uh, you know, I'm in, I'm in smaller shows. You know, I, I, I'm in a s number of galleries. You know, sometimes you're with a gallery for a little while. Sometimes you're there for years. I was with the Coriel Gallery for years in Lambertsville. Another gallery that's since closed in, in New Hope. Um, there's a gallery I'm supposed to be involved with uh, this fall in Doylestown. I've exhibited in Philadelphia uh, a number of times. Um, I used to exhibit in New York uh, when I was in Europe. Now that I'm close to, to New York, all the guys that were running the galleries uh, have, have moved, died, or, or, or whatever. So I really haven't established myself back in New York, which is sort of my playbook. Sure. You know. How do you get inspiration for your works? Uh, that's hard to say. Uh, um, Everybody asks you that, but I think you have to have a, a, a feeling for it. I mean, it has to be something that's sort of not in your DNA or, or your culture or whatever, but uh, I, I get inspiration by, by looking. I mean, if I'm ever stuck with, 
you know, nothing to paint or no ideas or anything. This area here, or where I was on the French Riviera, the Côte d'Azur, um, you get inspiration by going outside and, and there's so much to do to paint uh, that, um, you know, it lends itself to inspiration. I find that even if you feel very uninspired or tired or whatever's going on in your life, that if you work, inspiration comes after about an hour or two. And sure. um, it sort of feeds on itself. Do you offer classes for children or adults? Not for children. Um, uh, for adults, yes. I have some, some students, you know, they come here. And uh, in the past, I, I ran a whole group in Monte Carlo of, um, of essentially the desperate hives of my, wives of Monte Carlo. And uh, there were about 30 of them of 10, 12 different nationalities. Mm -hmm. And I used to teach them. What is uh, your process for creating one of these uh, fine works of art? The process is different uh, with, uh, with everything. First of all, you've got to pick a subject that you like. Uh, you have to set up a design. You, know, you have to sort of have an image in your mind of what you want to see or what you want to express. And in, when you're painting nature, whether it's a landscape or a seascape or mountains or hills or people or you know, a scene in a bar or a scene on a street, um, you have to get the design right first. And once you get the design, you try to express it. You know, not exactly reproduce it, but use your subject matter as sort of a muse. Something which, you know, you can change. Something you can infuse your own um, ideas about, your own feelings about, um, or maybe some, some technical thing that you would like to try. For instance, introduce new colors. Um, painting outside is a, is a little different from doing something a little more modern like this painting behind me here um, because it's fixed and it doesn't move. The things that you sort of do in your head, um, I generally do a drawing first, you know, sort of get an idea, design where I'm going. I'm not like an abstract expressionist, you know, that puts a lot of paint on, although I have done that. It just doesn't appeal to me. Um, when I have a painting, I want to show I want to show something, you know. I want people to stand in front of the painting for a little while, not one of these sh shows that, you know, they give you a cheap glass of wine and everybody walks around with the wine and walk out. Um, I feel really satisfied if I have a, a show when you have to throw people out, you know, which has happened. And I've exhibited, a, you know, a lot of places in Italy, France several times, Monaco, not any number of times, London a few times, Scotland, and... Um, in each of these cases, uh, in general, people stick around, you know, and they look at my paintings. And um, that helps me, too, because very often when people begin to look at it, they sometimes the idea gets into their head that maybe I might buy that, you know. Sure, sure. So, How can someone contact you to get a better look at all these works of art? Uh, they can email me at B McManus. that's B-M-C-M-A-N-U-S-1 the numeral one, at verizon.net. Any, yeah. Anything else you'd like to add today? Um, I think that the coming here to the Lehigh Valley to get back sort of the original question is a great place to paint. I mean, it's, um, you have the valleys, mountains, hills here, streams. It's, um, and that inspires me. I mean, sure. uh, I grew up in a similar place in, in northeast Philadelphia, in Somerton. When I was a child, it was still very much woodsy, and that appeals to me a lot. I, I, always seem to have a painting of a tree in some of my paintings, whether I'm in the south of France or here. And um, that, uh, you know, that is something that this area, you know, has in abundance. Sure. Yeah. Well, Bernie, I thank you for taking the time to be with us today. Well, my pleasure, Justin. Thank you, Bernie. Appreciate it. Good. That's all the time we have for today's legislative mm -hmm. report. Thank you very much for joining us, and please join us again for the next time. Thank you.